Many long and drawn out years have been misinterpreted, had almost left my playful soul for dead. He's a loose cannon, they said, and quite often I would cry, punching my stupid useless head, wondering why others didn't like me, and why my idea of fun had always led to some kind of punishment or trouble. Admittedly, I was at times a little rambunctious. The wheels on my bus went round and round despite punctures, and quite often I would clown around throwing punctures pretending to be Bruce Lee. And people would walk by looking at me strangely asking who's he, meaning me. I'd find myself going to extreme lengths just so people would choose me, as a friend but instead in the end they'd lose me. I was just a school kid, obsessed and concerned with the idea of being the cool kid. But no matter what I did, I always wound up being made into a joke by those who didn't like me. Having said that, joke, I did always deliver a good punchline, as in lining them up at lunchtime and punching them one at a time. <laughs> That'll teach them not to mess with Bruce. You see, I never could tolerate that type of abuse, which ultimately led to me becoming a bit of a recluse. And soon I became a wanted kid on the loose. It was a case of hook, duck, 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 goose. I was convinced it was a game until they lassoed me with a noose. I was out of the loop. I was no use, a nuisance. I made no sense, just nonsense. Until I found a new sense of freedom and of pride. And now I live my life with a smile ever so wide. I found me. And I found me through ADHD.